Hello everyone, this is Darvel20, and welcome to episode 57 of Darvel20's Let's Play of All the Mods 8, uh, where I'm getting ready to... Do we have sandpaper? No, we should probably auto-craft these. Uh, getting ready to teach this guy how to make some more stuff from Create. So last episode, we did a whole bunch of Create work and basically got ourselves a very simple but straightforward and functional setup uh, for Create uh, and now today I'd like to do more with that. So first things first, I'd like an exporter uh, for you and you. And you should get sand, diamond grit sandpaper with a crafting card. And you should get uh, whatever these guys are. And a site alloy with a crafting card, no doubt. And that should be cool. So now if we get some cables run up there, you guys should be good to go. Nice. And then you've got your sandpaper. Awesome. Which means that I can now insert this recipe in here. And if I wanted to get, let's say, 10 of the polished rose quartz, it should start doing the thing. Hooray! Nice. So that means you're done, you're done, you're done, you're done. And electron tubes are just using the existing rose quartz. Brass ingots are done, brass plates are done, the kelp stuff's done. Last thing we want to do is the recipe sequence um, for the precision mechanism. Uh, so there's an 80% chance that's going to work. Ugh, I hate chance-based things. Random salvage. I hate chance-based graphs, because refined storage really does not handle it well. We're going to have to come up with a solution for this, probably. But to start, let's do uh, more deployers. So where's my deployers at? Where'd my deployers go? You guys can go away. I probably don't need you no more. And I know I've got deployers. Oh, they're in here. That's why I couldn't find them. Uh, we're going to want three of these guys. And I have to figure out how I'm going to get them to do stuff. Oh, good. He made one of those. Cool. Cool. It's working. It's working. Um, so deployers can work like that, which is cool. Um, but we're going to want three of these, right? And I don't think they're going to be friends unless I put some kind of... Uh, Something like this. I could probably also just do small gears would probably work. That would work, right? Yeah, that could work. Either that or belts. Either one would work. Uh, and then we're going to want some exporters here. Boom, boom, boom. And you're going to export uh, small cogwheel, large cogwheel, iron nugget. So this guy is going to be a small cogwheel with a crafting card. And you're gonna be a large cog wheel with a crafting card. And you're gonna be a nugget, iron nugget, which I don't think we'll need a crafting card. So now everybody should have those things, which is good. Do we have any dirt around here anywhere? I guess not. Would have been nice to be able to middle click that, but there we go. And then that'll all turn that stuff. And then you are going to be, we need to make the recipe for this. Now, this is where things get tricky, 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 tricky. Um, so that, I'm going to remove these bits so that you just put the gold plate on and you'll get the precision mechanism. Um, but we're going to want to route the unfinished precision mechanism back um, to this guy. So if we watch this run, right, what's going to happen is if I want a gold plate, and we put this in here, right, he's going to run once, but he needs to run five times. Now I wonder if...
You should have a one of these guys. Yeah, that works. So an incomplete precision mechanism. Now I think there is a shoot. Isn't there like a good shoot? Like a smart shoot. Yeah, give me one of them. These I think I can filter. Okay. And what we'll do is say that with my smart shoot, we're going to see if this works, and if it doesn't, we'll do something else. Can I just smart shoot this down into a chest down here? Because that would probably be cool. Okay. And then we want a filter from create. Uh, does this guy, or do I want an add? No, I want a, I want a regular filter. And allow list and ignore data. So hopefully with this filter, he'll say any incomplete precision mechanism. So that if I were to, for example, drop this here, it should drop into the chest before it gets injected in. Cool. And then you could, in theory, use... Uh, you could, if you wanted to, use... Uh, Use create to like run this back over here and reinsert it into this chest. But I think for simplicity's sake, what I'll probably do. Now, another solution, by the way, would be to export bus incomplete mechanisms into here. But let's just assume the possibility of some point in the future where we have multiple types of precision mechanisms going on. I don't even know if there are others, to be honest with you. But it's possible. we would want to make sure it's this precision mechanism goes into this guy, right? So in theory, that precision mechanism should now go through there. Boom. Boom. And hopefully this falls. It did. Cool. And now he's going to come out again. All right. How cool is that? I like that. And it has to go five times, and then there's an 80% chance we're going to get the item that we wanted. And that is the problem that I'm going to have to solve, um, which is not easy. I think I want to see what the item looks like if it fails. I think the key here will be knowing what the item looks like if it fails. I think it just failed. Did it just create an andesite alloy? Is that what it did? It gives me a random item? That's not good. Because I can't even say if it's this item that it's failed. It basically has to be... What we need to do is say... If you get to this funnel and the item that lands here is not a thingy, then it failed. Right? So, like, if I had requested this through here right now, the refined storage system would still be waiting for uh, that thing. So, basically, we want to detect a bad item, then void it then drop another gold plate into this chest and hope that the next iteration works. That might be a fun way to, to solve this problem, right? Um, does that sound cool? So basically what we'd want is to keep in stock a gold plate here with a crafter, because you have to craft those. So now it should be making one, boom, okay? And what we could do dun, 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 dun. Uh, let me think about this. So what could we use to detect an item? We could probably use integrated dynamics. That would be cool. 
So what if we didn't have this here? What we'd want to have is probably this here, and this could be a chest. Really, bro? You're being very rude. Very, very rude. Trying to solve a problem here, and you're showing up, right? So, like, let's say an item lands in this chest, like the andesite alloy. Okay. What we're going to want to do is detect that probably or possibly with integrated dynamics so normally the first slot in this chest should be empty true true and what integrated dynamics is going to do is we're going to have um some kind of reader entity inventory reader that's probably what we want yeah i think integrated is probably a good way to go with this and then we get a display, and then we get this, and then we're going to want um, we're going to want to move items to somewhere, and we'll handle all that in a minute. Uh, first, we want to see what's in there, and then do the logic. Yeah. Uh, so integrated, we're going to need some blank cards, and then I'm going to need my this dude. All right. So let me put away some creative things for the moment because I don't super need a lot of them. And then we'll circle back to having them in a moment. Cool. So what we're going to say here is, let's read the inventory of this chest. Boom. And you're going to tell me what's in that chest with a display. So we want inventory not empty, inventory count, slots, slots filled, fill ratio, items. Cool. Slot item. That's what we want. Um, so if we check the properties, this is the slot ID. So tell me what item is in slot zero. Andesite alloy. Cool. And now we want to have um, an item, which is going to be, can you drag? Because that would be so cool if I could drag this. <gasps> I can. Good job, integrated dynamics. This, precision mechanism. So this is a hard-coded precision mechanism. This is the item that's currently in the slot. So like, watch, well, if I take this out, it's gone. If I put it in, it's that. If I put this in, you'll see it's two of those. Doesn't matter what it is. Now we want to have an equals, and we're going to say, well, actually a not equal, right? So if they're not equal, we're going to do one thing. If they are equal, we're going to do another. So let's start with equals, and we're going to say, if whatever the item in the slot equals the precision mechanism, right? So now if we put that in here, and then we got our um, integrated variable store. This dude. I'm really tempted to put this game on, on like on like peaceful mode, because I don't like all these like boss mobs spawning when I'm trying to do stuff. So you guys go in there. So right now that's false. Um, if I put gold plates in there, it's going to be false. If I put andesite alloy in there, it's going to be false. Um, if I had a precision mechanism to put in there, it would be true. So let's go get a precision mechanism so that we can demonstrate this logic. So it's going to take a minute to craft. But while that's crafting, let's get uh, integrated. We're going to want some item interfaces. And then we're going to want an item importer and an item exporter. OK. Cool. Cool. OK. So I'm going to want to interface you, and you're going to get an item exporter? I might want two exporters. Yeah, we might want two exporters. Probably going to want to move you for a sec because I want my item exporter to go here. Okay. And integrated cables. Give me some more of those. Right. I'm just thinking this through in my head. But basically what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to say if it is the same item, export it here. Well, actually, this should probably be the interface then. Yeah. Give me one sec. All right. I knew I wanted an importer for a reason. It's because I want the interface 
to be on... Where'd my importer go? I want the interface to be here, right? And then I'm going to import from here on a certain variable, and then we're going to export to here on a certain variable. Cool? And then we're going to probably... I actually probably want an interface because we want to... Yeah, this might need to be the interface. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Give me a sec. Let me think. Uh, what I want to have here... Oh, good. The precision mechanism came out. Good. Right? So if you're a precision mechanism right now, let's get... Um, let's get our cables back and our variable store, and we'll see that our true-false thingy is working the way I want it to. Okay? So the variable store can probably sit right here. And then we put this guy in there, and this guy, and false, right? But if I put this in here, it's true. And anything else is going to be false. Okay? Cool. So as long as it's a precision mechanism, that's true. So when that's true, we're going to want to activate the item importer, right? Import all items. Okay? And your part settings, one tick for operation. So every tick it's going to check. So basically, if it's false, it's not going to import items into the interface. Okay? But if it's true, it will. See how it immediately disappeared? That's because in the same tick that it went in there, it got sucked in. Cool? Cool? So watch. <clears throat> if, uh, if, 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 if you're here, he's going to go in and get sucked in immediately, and it's in the thing here. If it's anything else, it's going to stay in the chest. Cool? Cool. Now you are, um, we're going to also want to check if there is an item there, right? So what we're going to want to say is inventory not empty, is inventory, inventory empty, slot, slot filled, item, slot item. So let's get slot item again. Okay. So this is good. We're importing when it's the right item. Now we want to see if there's an item there, and it's not the one we wanted. Okay? So when that occurs, it's going to be slot item. Is that like an is null or empty or whatever? Is null. So if I do this and this, this is a null check. So it's going to say, hey... Is that item null? True. And if I put an item in there, it's going to go false, right? Now, if I put this in here, it's going to briefly be false, but then it's going to be imported and true immediately. You might see it flicker the word false here. Let's see. See how fast that was? Boom. Right? So that we want to see is the item null and it's not the item we're looking for. Okay? So we want to take this and then we want to say not equals these two, okay? So now what we're gonna say is, is the item that's in the slot not equal to the precision mechanism? Okay, which is true when there's nothing there. So we also wanna validate that the slot's not empty. So we wanna do an and here. So we're going to say, is it not a precision mechanism? And I guess we want not null, right? We want not null, right? Yeah, we want not null. So let's turn this into a not null. Is not null. So the item, variable slot item, is not null. Okay. So right now, so when this is true, and this is true, 
okay? AKA, when it's not an empty slot and it's not the precision mechanism, that's when we want to put a new gold ingot, a new gold doohickey into the thing, right? So did you, yes, good. So that would be you. These guys go in here. So right now it's false because it's not empty, right? If I put anything else in there, it's gonna be in slot zero, it's gonna be true. Cool? See that? How cool is that? And because this is all gonna happen like instantly in a tick, I think always using slot zero should be safe, but we'll see if this ever gets gummed up. Okay, so now we know when there's an item here that doesn't belong. So when that occurs, we're gonna to wanna to export um, all items from channel zero. Item transfer rate will be one. Okay, and because I don't want you running just yet, I'm gonna disconnect this because I wanna see that it always puts one gold plate into the chest. So let's have you keep in stock with a crafting card, a gold plate. So you've always got a gold plate ready to go in the event that this evaluates to true, right? Now, when that evaluates to true, we're gonna to wanna to do something with uh, the item that was in there. Probably trash it, or we could for now just put it into another chest and then eventually trash it. How's that sound? Like that plan, right? So how about for now, uh, you're gonna have to be, you're gonna have to be what? Uh, an item exporter? But you're gonna be on, channel one, okay? And then you're gonna have to also have an interface that's on channel one. Okay. And then same deal for these guys. We're going to do an and. So when the there's a slot and it's not the right item, right? So not equal the item is not null, do an and, and that's when you should be extracting into this chest. Item exporter, all items into the chest. So right now it's false because there's nothing in there. Okay, is that, is that cool? I think that's cool. And then eventually this will go into here, right? So let's take this guy out and put him into here. So if I set this up right, Whenever an item goes into this chest that is not a precision mechanism, it should simultaneously drop a new gold plate into the chest here and have this chest receive that item. You ready? He got a gold plate and he got the item. Ha <laughs> ha! And if it is the precision mechanism, he still only has the one gold plate. Cool? So what this means is if it creates a random item, it'll land in this chest and then push out a new gold plate and try to make another random item. And if by bad luck, that's another random item, it'll go into the chest and push out a new gold plate. And it'll keep going until it gets the precision mechanism that it expected. And this is to compensate for refined storage, as far as I know, not being able to handle things like a percent base. You might get the item back, you might not. Because refined storage and applied energistics both expect that when you say, put this item in, get this item out, it's always going to work. Neither of them, as far as I know, unless it's been recently added, has a way to handle chance-based creation, right? So let's try that with a precision mechanism, right? Um, so did I create a pattern for precision mechanism? I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. I was talking about doing it. Uh, so you're going to go in here, okay? And now if I want a precision mechanism, what he should do is spit a gold plate out there. And then remember, nothing will make its way into the chest because of the smart shoot. 
So let's remove you real quick and let you go back to work. So then he'll smart shoot his way down and the precision mechanism here will come out, right? And one in five of these will fail. So we have a 20% chance right now of seeing this thing doing what I want it to do. It may throw a precision mechanism in there or it may throw a no gold dude in, in here. We'll just have to wait and see in a few seconds. Is that cool? I kind of like this. Like this looks really cool to me and I think it's going to work. I'm really hopeful I don't have to mess with tick timings and all that stuff. I might have to I might have to monkey around with timings. I might. I guess we'll find out. Right? But it should be cool. So you don't have a ticks per operation. Do you have a ticks per operation over here? So your channel 0, your round robin item transfer rate of 1, uh ticks per operation 1. That's cool. This might be the fifth. Is this the fifth iteration of it? And by the way, as a reminder, once I get faster create stuff, this belt will move a lot quicker. Oh, look, it was successful. So now it should be in here. Cool. Cool. Now let's simulate um, putting the wrong item in there, right? So I can do that by just dropping an item that shouldn't get done. And then what will happen is it's going to go in there. And what should happen at this point is we should see a gold plate come through. Ha <laughs> ha, it worked. And just one. Just one gold plate, and then that random item landed in the chest over here. How cool is that? It works. I am very proud of this. I think this is super cool. Please tell me in the comments if you liked this build, because I think it's neat. And I like integrated dynamics, and I think, I think we can do complex integrated dynamics things, right? Like, we can do that. That was fun. That was complex and fun. All right, I lost count, but it's either maybe going to work now or maybe not. I guess that's another route to go. Uh, so let's take those precision mechanisms and make a rotational speed controller. Oh, we need brass casings. Yeah, we should set up brass casings. Uh, where should I set up brass casings at? That's a good question. Uh, I guess I could work backwards on one, right? It should be doable. Should we do that? We could do that. Yeah. Why not? You know what else I could do? Yeah, I could make this more compact, actually. So did you work precision mechanism? You did. Good job. All right. So what I could do, you ready for this? Uh, let's make this a little bit more compact with a good wrench. What I'm going to do is yoink and yoink and yoink, yoink, yoink. And then you're going to get... Can I do this, this, and this? And then this... And that. So now that's all on the same side. And everybody's still spinning the right direction, correct? Yes, excellent. Cool. All right, so then I can put this here. Then I can have a belt going like that. And now we can have, especially if I put another one of these here, a deployer. We may or may not be making stuff, I don't know. And deployer faces down. And deployer export buses with crafting. I want uh, these brass casings. So you need a brass ingot with stripped log, right? So we'll have a crafter here. We'll have the exporter here. We'll run some cables across. We'll have an interface here. And then we'll have funnels here. And there. Cool. And then your export bus will be brass ingot with a crafting card which should take not too long to create and go. Cool. And now we go home. And we say that this recipe is simply stripped oak log and not the brass ingot because that's already handled by the export bus. And then if we do this, we should be able to request one of those. And that should be cool. Eh? Eh? 
Hey, the Brass Age. And I put it in my inventory just in case there was a thing for that. So these all things can go away now. You can go away, 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 and probably you as well. Sweet. So now I can get a rotational speed controller, which uh, I have to remember how this thing works, but I think I do something, something, you go in, and then something else comes out. Yeah. I'm going to have to monkey with that a little bit. Uh, but the theory is... How do you work again? I put a I put a cog wheel in there, right? Um, I could just I could just look at the ponder, right? So it goes in there, and then the speed is on the wheel. So we're basically going to want to put the wheel intersecting here. Right? So we're going to want to put a wheel like this. And you're all still facing the right direction, right? That's important. Uh, and then your job will be to have uh, the wheel Okay, cool. But instead of you being connected here, we're going to want a gearbox or two. Not ideal. Uh, what we're going to want is to have the wheel be here. This is when Dyer's ability to create falls apart. Sorry. Uh, vertical gearbox would be here. And then another one here. And then one here. And then one here. And then one here. Are you guys all going the wrong direction? You are. Good. Because now I can do that, and now you're all going the right direction. Uh, or not. Why are you not going the right direction? Explain. Why are you all going the wrong direction? Because I reversed you when I did that, right? Shouldn't you be reversed now? Oh. Uh -huh. What if I did you on this side? Also rude. Now, in theory, this is where I can speed things up, right? See how much faster those are all running? Haha! <laughs> cool! Except they're backwards. And I don't know why, because I thought by doing a gearbox you would reverse the direction of everything, and you're not. So that tells me the rotational speed controller is always the same direction? If I reverse either side that it's the coming in or the reverse of the thing, it's not it's not reversing the direction that it goes in. Right? Isn't that isn't that weird? Seems weird. Um so what I could do what I could do uh give me a sec thinking 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 why don't you reverse i would expect you to reverse right shouldn't that be reversing when i do one of those should cause a reversal all right so what i'm gonna have to do is realistically what i have to do is reverse it here so we're gonna want this guy and then this guy, right? Um, and then we just need to have, we're gonna work backwards and that'll probably be the best approach. Okay, so you go here. What if we did this? Now you're cool, now you're cool. All right, that works. Cool. So now let's try our precision mechanism crafting now. You ready? This should be far faster. See how much better that is? 
Now let's see what my stress looks like. Stress is pretty high. We've actually capped out on stress. So if I if I made this any faster, it would probably gum up. Even even one point faster, it gums up and locks. So we don't want to do that because it also locks, well, everything. So now we lost our water. <laughs> uh, so to fix that, I probably have to remove this guy and then do this until it starts running on its own again, which it just did. And then I can reconnect you. And that's using exactly the amount of stress that I have available. Cool. And it worked, precision mechanism, sweet. I would like to see it fail one time in this episode. Uh, if I'm lucky, I'll get one to fail. I guess unlucky, depending on your point of view. But look how much faster it is now. It's good, right? And I can make it even faster once I upgrade my steam engine. Come on, fail. I just really like this design. Ah, you succeeded again. You bum. Let's make like four of them, right? And this will do them one at a time. Ready? Pretty cool, right? I love Create. It's so good. How good is that? Totally working. Totally working. I love it. It's so cool. Worked, 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 worked. Ugh. RNG is in my favor today? I don't know. But we know it's going to work because what it'll do is it'll spit something out like that, and then, it'll, and then we should have a gold come out here, right? And then that went into here. Cool, right? I like that. I like it. It's act It really is working. And that makes me very happy. All right, wrapping up point. Direwolf20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Let's come back next time. We will expand our uh, fluid tank here. Uh, we will get the, the, the these guys better and be hotter. And then uh, we'll be ready to make a giant one of these doohickeys, right? That'll serve us for both the ATM star and what we're currently working towards, which is the, Pat the Patrick star. All right, Dial 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.